Okay, so if you want to grow your biceps, then you want to know which exercise activates the biceps the most. And this paper looks at that. So it looks at three different exercises, the incline dumbbell curl, the dumbbell preacher curl, and just the regular dumbbell curl. So they separated one rep up into six phases and looked at the muscle activation of each of the six phases. The first three phases are where you have the arm fully extended and you flex the arm to be, well, for the muscle to be fully uh, contracted. And then the last three phases are where the arm goes from fully contracted and you extend the arm to fully extended again. So what they found was that the highest possible muscle activation you can get is with either the incline dumbbell curl and or, or the regular dumbbell curl. And it was at the phase three for either of those two exercises. What they also found was that for all phases put together, the average act muscle activation was highest for incline dumbbell curl and regular dumbbell curl. So comparing the incline and the regular dumbbell curl with the preacher curl, what they found was that the incline and the regular dumbbell curl had a maximum of just over 90% muscle activation. And that occurred in phase three of the concentric part of the motion. Whereas the maximum of the preacher curl was about 80%, which occurred in phase one of the concentric part and phase three of the eccentric part. So for those of you who are actually interested in seeing the graph, this is for the concentric part, the first three phases. Uh, white is regular, grey is incline and black is preacher curl. So you can see that in phase one the preacher curl is about 80% and it's the highest of all three but it's also the maximum that the preacher curl gets because after that it actually decreases, the muscle activation decreases in the preacher curl down to a really low maybe 40% muscle activation um, at full contraction. Whereas for both the regular dumbbell curl and the incline dumbbell curl, the activation increases as you flex and it reaches a maximum of over 90% starting from maybe an average of about 60, just under 60%. And also for the three phases of the eccentric part of um, contraction, you can see that the average uh, muscle activation never go well the yeah, yeah the average never goes above 60 percent and for the first two phases the uh, incline and regular dumbbell curls are uh, activate the muscle more than the preacher does but in the last one the preacher activates it slightly more so clearly if you want maximum hypertrophy then you want maximum muscle activation not only peak muscle activation but also average throughout the entire range of motion and therefore you should definitely do either incline or uh, regular dumbbell curls rather than preacher curls. Mm -hmm.